what's going on brick fans i'm back with a new video and today i'm showing you the suzo garden uh, micro brick set and this is actually the backyard portion of the build so you can buy three separate builds and con and combine them together so you get the front yard and then the center and then this is the back and there's so much detail in this set alone this is by far the biggest build i've built uh, parts pieces wise and there is a lot to see starting at the front you can just see there are so much foliage different flowers palm trees etc the main event you can see in the middle we got so this lake uh in this transparent blue color and there are um five bridges that connect these two kind of gazebo type things in the center and all of those are basically identical so you're gonna build them five times in the build uh step by step some lily pads are in the water as well uh just really nice i really like the water feature they've used white uh for the st for the pathways i presume it's like white stone or something and uh you can see there's some rock work around the water on this side taking a look over here you got some smaller trees as well some flowers and then you got this gateway uh in this color and you got all the roofs of this full set in that dark gray color so you can see that we also got some light gray koi fish lining the roofs of all these buildings and you can just see the pathway that goes through and then you come to this other structure over here which is kind of like a gazebo again you can see there's a nice spire detail on the top and you can just see the poles that hold up the roof are in that red color the candlesticks and it's hard to see but taking a look inside you can see there is a table inside and this is an identical build to the one on this side over here again you can see some of the palm trees and then taking a look over here we can just see another path that trickles down and leads to this building over here now you can see this building over here with a red building inside the roof and those candlesticks in a light gray color this time the roof looks pretty nice these palm trees are pretty uh, repetitive to build, so a lot of repetition in those as well. So the foliage, I feel like, is the most repetitious part of this build, uh, apart from like the bridges and some other details. But most of these buildings have different styles and heights and uh, variety, which is a really nice thing uh, to see. Taking a look over here, you can see this palm tree over here is fully green and then you can see these ones that have light green in the mix as well so this building looks pretty basic uh really nice looking build you can just take a look at some of the side features after this take a look at this building over here this one looks pretty good you can see some of those uh diamond uh windows on the top and nice shaping for the windows on the bottom as well you can see the stairs that go up and this one has the double roof. So you get the wire roof at the top and at the bottom. And then you got a smaller roof at the top. And again, you got those koi fish on the edges. Taking a look over here, this is the biggest building and by far one of the, the nicer looking buildings. I really like the entrance uh, right here. And then you got the diamond uh, windows that land up the sides, including this top section over here. You can see uh, they've used the red candlesticks once again. Really nice shaping for this doorway as well. And you can just see there's like a balcony that goes all along this building. So that's a really nice walkway type thing. Again, this part of the building is uh, identical as well. And you can see some of the fencing as well. Some of the foliage as well. And then the trees here. And then taking a look over here, you can just see this identical gazebo again from over here to the other one that was over here so this is the same build you can see there's a walkway over here and then i've over here we can see this building again and i feel like it's really nice that they've uh put details on all four corners so 
it looks pretty good from all size, even though you're not high, not likely to be displaying this build from this side. Taking a look over here, we got some more trees, and then this building over here with a different style of uh, railing, which is really interesting. This one is more brick built than some of the other ones that have pre-existing pieces. And then taking a look over here, some more palm trees and another path as well. Taking a look at this corner again, we can just see some more of the details of this build. It is built on this gray base and then you place a lot of plates before you even start the build. So there is a lot of steps that you do for just the train before you even start building. So keep that in mind. And then just taking a look, those bridges are really annoying to put together, but the end result is pretty nice. And I really like these small huts in the middle. It's really nice that they added this water feature to break up um, all the green and the rest of the build. And overall, this build was really um, advanced to put together. For example, um, the instructions are not that clear. They could be more clear. I wish they were. But um, you fully build this build uh, with the instructions showing the top view. So you got to kind of uh, decide what they're trying to say and build from that way on. So instructions can vary uh, in different uh, builds. But overall, this build is really nice to put together. Uh, I would recommend that you put it together with uh, more people uh, just to play up the build just a bit. But overall, these buildings are really nice. Uh, they add a lot of detail. It's a really nice display piece as well. And I'm really happy that I have this in my collection. As, uh, as of now, uh, let me know what you think about this video. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.